are Washington's last days of winter. Anwar Sadat, president of the National Assembly of the United Arab Republic, arrives with Mrs. Sadat on their first visit to the United States. At the White House, the UAR parliamentarian brings a message from President Nasser to President Johnson. The President of the United States meets with Mr. Sadat for an hour and a half. On these late February days, Washington basks in a pale sun that is a prelude to spring. But in a matter of hours, a snowfall can turn back the calendar of the season, and the statues and landmarks take on an appearance of resignation as well as solemnity. On a hill overlooking the Capitol is the grave of President Kennedy. God, I am traveling out to death's sea. I who exulted in sunshine and laughter. This Congress, through Speaker of the House John McCormick, invites Anwar Sadat to attend its sessions. To these and to his conversations with American legislative leaders, he brings his experience as presiding officer of the UAR's National Assembly. At the embassy of the UAR, Mr. and Mrs. Sadat hold a reception for Washington officials. Here they see the America of political leaders, lawmakers, and diplomats. In the days to follow, they are to see America in the diversity of its cities and its people, at work and at play. California, Disneyland lives up to its reputation as a world of fun and fantasy.
San Francisco, a magic name to those who dream of magic cities. The wind sings in the cables and girders of the Golden Gate Bridge. In the elegant sweep of her bridges and the serenity of her hilltops, San Francisco is the legendary city of man, full of secret promise and unknown fulfillment. from the traffic of downtown streets and you see a bridge across the sky. San Francisco, cool gray city on a cloud. There are honors at City Hall and keys to the city. Then in California's state capital in Sacramento, Anwar Sadat is received by the Legislative Assembly. A new era of friendly relations between the U.S. and U.A.R. has begun with this visit, says the Speaker of the National Assembly. In Sacramento, Mr. Sadat is the guest of the Governor of California. everyone always seems in a hurry. New York, like America itself, a young world experimenting with new ways of living, new forms of art. And if you judge me, do not judge me by what I've built for today, but what I've built for all time. At the new Center for the Performing Arts are heard the new symphonies, operas, plays, poems, and folk songs. Here will be built the city of legend that lives beyond its time. The hieroglyph on this obelisk was carved in Egypt 3,500 years ago. Now it stands in New York in Central Park, a gift to the city from the Khedive of Egypt 85 years ago, symbol of the continuity of civilization. of March blow on city streets in front of the headquarters of the United Nations. The hope and reassurance of mankind seeking peace in the world. For what in fact is the world? A glass which shines, which a breath has made, and which a breath can destroy. Secretary General Uthant confers with Anwar Sadat during his visit to the Secretariat building. The United Nations is working for a better tomorrow. Here truly, the world is a prophecy of worlds to come. New York, the last day of a visit to America. Today becomes yesterday, and a journey becomes a memory. For a few days, Anwar Sadat and Mrs. Sadat have been part of America. It's fun, it's cities, it's people, it's changing season. They have been part of America, just as America has been part of them. And the poet has written, among the benefits of travel is the freshness it brings to the heart, the seeing and hearing of marvelous things, the delight of beholding new cities, and the meeting of unknown friends. Mm -hmm. 